Boom shakalaka, Bitcoin's rate of change indicator signaling a zone of maximum opportunity. Today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at three potential Bitcoin scenarios. You definitely wanna stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we're taking a look at a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including the Bitcoin rate of change, suggesting zone of maximum opportunity and also three potential scenarios before we get into it guys make sure to like subscribe click the notification bell come join us over on twitter at the crypto love where we share all of the best charts in bitcoin and cryptocurrencies push that like button and let's get started today fear and greed index extreme fear 23 same as yesterday pretty much the same area we've been hovering in for the last month the overall market Pretty much sideways today. Bitcoin at 19,139, Ethereum at 12,93, BNB 271, XRP 46 cents, Cardano 35 cents, Solana $29, and Dogecoin 5 cents. And if we take a look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin is in this blue wedge that I have right here, which is set to break out by the beginning of November, November 5th. As of right now, if we zoom in, we can see that actually it's getting squeezed between the top line of that wedge and this green line, 280 weekly moving average. Historically, this has been like rock bottom support for Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is definitely getting squeezed. May it push the price down? I don't know. Let's go and see what's hit what's happening. Right now, 3,200 Bitcoin were on the move yesterday. They were dormant since back here in December 2018. They were purchased for $3,901. They almost got an 8x on their money, maybe a 5x on their money. Not bad. Transactions like this usually signify OTC trades, meaning someone is willing to acquire those 32,000 Bitcoins right now. And this reminds me of very much at that same time, because that was when a lot of OTC trades were going on at the bottom area down around there. Now, right now, people are bearish, really bearish. Bearishness has spread like the flu. It's like a bearish pandemic. The AAII bull ratio 50 period moving average is officially at its lowest level ever. People are the most bearish ever. Now, should this surprise anyone? Well, not really. This is the third worst start to a year ever. The only two worst starts for the S&P 500 were 1974 and 2002. Those years saw stocks bottom on October 3rd and October 9th. Will history repeat itself? Because if we take a look, more bear markets end in October than any other month. I know the beginning of this year has been terrible, but looking at the past 17 bear markets show that a large number of them, 6 out of 17, ended in October. That's pretty potentially good news. It might be over. But if we take a look right now, the small trader put buying at the highest levels ever. Yes, people are the most pessimistic ever, and small traders are buying puts at levels we have never seen before. That means they're betting on the market going down and they're putting their money behind that. Now, if the bear market ends and if these puts are caught on the wrong side, it'll lead to massive losses for small traders. Now, the market likes to disappoint the most people as possible. Generally, it likes to disappoint the retail traders, not the insiders, okay? So, that being said, where does it leave us for Bitcoin? Well, right now, Bitcoin has log bottom ascending horizontal all-time high support and an oversold Chaikin money flow index that is turning around. Similarly to what has happened previously, this could be very, very good accumulation reversal support right there. As a matter of fact, on the weekly charts, currently we're 79 weeks from the halving as can be seen right here on the right of this chart. Now lows have occurred previously between 47 and 74 weeks. So in 2019, it was 74 weeks was a low. In 2015, it was 47 weeks. However, this right there was also 74 weeks, which is pretty darn close. In 2012, it was 54 weeks. So next low, well, potentially between November next month and May of 2023, we could have a bottom if we see these smaller areas or if it's 74 weeks. I mean, it could be already happening at this point, which brings us to this chart. Very, very interesting chart here. The Bitcoin rate of change indicator. You may have noticed recently that Bitcoin is kind of like a stable coin. Like it just sits at $19,000 and just every day it's $19,000. What's going on? And everybody wants the price to go up and everybody's hoping the price doesn't go down. But most people are just pessimistic thinking the price is going to go down. Well, the rate of change is a pure momentum oscillator, also known as the market bubbles indicator. RC past peaks and Bitcoin tops were correlated. You can see peak, top, peak, 
top, peak top. Now, Bitcoin was in the zone of maximum opportunity historically when it tagged the green line right down here. Zone of maximum opportunity, zone of maximum opportunity. Look at this, currently tagging that green line, meaning, well, if this isn't a bottom, it's definitely a zone of maximum opportunity. Right now, we have the Bitcoin Relative Vigor Index demonstrating signal accumulation signals for Bitcoin entry. As a matter of fact, all previous times when we had a downtrend in this RVI signal, a little bounce and then tap one, two, three, right after that, very large Bitcoin rally. Again, downtrend, bounce, one, two, three, tap, Bitcoin massive rally. Well, same thing happened again. Downtrend, bounce, one, two, three, potentially massive massive rally in the cards for Bitcoin. Right now, Bitcoin has very, very high upside risk. And you're like, Randall, high risk, that doesn't sound good. But it's high upside risk, which is the opposite of high downside risk. You see, when the NUPL, the net unrealized profit and loss is up in this top area, that's high downside risk. That means the price is more likely to go down than anything else. And this correlated very, very well with the Bitcoin peaks. But if we take a, chart, a look at the chart right now, the NUPL, we are tagging the very bottom of it, indicating high upside risk. And this correlated very closely with previous market bottoms, suggesting we may again have a market bottom because it's in Bitcoin's DNA. I mean, they do say that Bitcoin is correlated to the halving. We'll kind of have to see if this is true. But the Bitcoin DNA pattern has been shown plus, 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 minus, plus, 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 minus, plus, 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 minus, plus, 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 up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B, select, start. I mean... Bitcoin has to have the contra code in its DNA, clearly. But will you take a chance to buy Bitcoin the last candle of the red box? That's right. We're in the last candle. Four red candles before it goes green. This potentially could be the last opportunity to get Bitcoin at a decent price because there are three potential scenarios. Now, some people think Bitcoin is going to crash down to like $10,000. Could totally happen. That's scenario number three. Now, scenario number two is we could go sideways. Pretty much sideways for another like six months that could very well happen as well or we could actually break out of this downtrend channel we've been in since last november for a year we could break out of this channel and head up to right around previous all-time highs by the middle of next year so we have three potential scenarios for what could happen this one's saying the low around ten thousand. this one's saying sticking right around 19 and this one's saying it going to 60 in about six months so you'll have to let me know down in the comments which one you think is going to happen but that's all for today's video. If you did enjoy it, push the like button. Helps out so much. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. <laughs>